When the app first launches and the route tracker activity gets created, of course its onCreate method gets called to configure the activity. And as normal, we go ahead and inflate its view, but again, in this app, we're partially building that view programmatically. And we do that here at lines 55 and 56 by creating an instance of our own class bearing frame layout. The first argument, this, is the context of the layout that we're creating, that is, in this case, the uh, route, tractor, route tracker activity to which we will be attaching this bearing frame layout. And basically, the bearing frame layout is going to allow us to rotate the map based on the bearing, the direction in which we're currently uh, traveling. And the second argument is the Google Maps API key, which you have to get your own version of and place into the strings.xml file. Now, uh, after creating the bearing frame layout, we get the app's main frame layout, and then we add the bearing frame layout at position number zero, index number zero. And by doing that, what we're saying is this uh, layout should be inserted into the view hierarchy as the first element. And of course, that then means the toggle button will be the second element in the view hierarchy and therefore will be placed on top of the bearing frame layout. Now, as you'll see when we get to class bearing frame layout, we're going to be creating the map view in that uh, class. So here at line 64, we get a reference to the map view. And at line 65, we get the map views map controller, which allows us to do things like zooming and panning. And in this case, we use it to zoom in on the map to the level that's defined by map underscore zoom, which is 18. Now the Google Maps API allows you to zoom in to a level from 1 to 21, where uh, 21 is the maximum zoom and 1 is the minimum zoom, which would basically be a map of the world. The next thing we do here at line 69 is create an object of our other class called route overlay. And again, this class will be used to draw our route on top of the Google map. And we will then overlay it on top of the map so that our route shows up later layered over it. Now the way that we attach it to the map view so that it rotates the same way is we go to the map view and get its collection of overlays which as you see here is returned as a list and then we add to that list our route overlay and in fact we can have multiple overlays on top of a map if we would like. And then finally we have a couple other things we do here. We set the distance traveled to zero because we're just getting started. We haven't traveled anywhere yet. And we go ahead and set up the event listener for our tracking toggle button. 